he kicked out his the the guy we built the chaplain for the padre and i said what are you doing here he says i'm here to do last rites i said well all due respect we're not ready for that get a rifle and get on the front line he turned across he said got it sir and he went to the front and if you look the faces of the guys when they see this chaplain with a gun squirreling up on his belly right next to him but he just like the PFCs it just meant a lot and the fact that Blue Eagle's chopper came in even if it had to chop the trees to get through it can't, he, he everybody knew he's with us and uh, and the guys all did what they were told all night long and then one time I remember sitting there saying you know this is this isn't we can't keep this up we're firing every weapon we have we're doing everything where grenades were running out of and it's only a matter of time before all of those bad guys decide that we've had enough of this and just overrun us and the thought in my mind was what a shitty place to die all of these guys have parents you can't say my son died in Normandy you know at the Battle of the Bulge Omaha, or case of the, he, he desi- died at coordinates X, Y, Z, that's it. No name, nothing. I thought, what a lousy, lousy thing for a parent to think. That's what I'm thinking. I'm sort of pissed that I let this happen. And then a young kid that unfortunately had been kicked off one of Maori's things, he had just reported, and Maori said, you stay, they need all the men they can get. He comes crawling by, I said, sir, we're kicking the hell out of them, aren't we? And all I could do was laugh. I just said, Jesus, in the eye of the beholder, because he heard all the firepower going on. He had no idea what was on the other side.